in this tutorial we will create this object and this object at first we will create this one to create this object at first we will need to create some planes suppose we will consider this xy plane as this one then we will need to create one plane at a distance of 85 from this plane and one plane we will need to create below that will be at a distance of 125 click on datum plane select add distance option right now I already have add distance so I will not select it then select this horizontal plane then give the gap of 85 enter and ok or apply then again select this plane suppose we will select this plane and we want to go down by distance of 125 we will click on this reverse direction and we will give gap of 125 enter and ok then on this bottom plane profile at this position needs to be drawn the profile at this position is this small circle of dia 10 and at this position it is a circle of dia 20 click on sketch select this plane press middle mouse button then click on circle give the center point take your cursor away and give diameter of 10 enter then click on finish sketch again click on sketch select this horizontal plane press middle mouse button you can click on circle give the center point take your cursor away give the diameter of 20 enter then click on finish sketch then next will be this ellipse of 120 by 80 diameter click on sketch select this plane press middle mouse button then take the ellipse command click on insert sketch curve and ellipse then give the center point specify major radius as 60 that is 120 diameter and specify minor radius as 40 that is 80 diameter click on ok now all the three profiles has been created click on finish sketch then hide this plane right click on this plane and select hide take your cursor on the plane right click and select hide then for swept we will need one guide curve also for that we will create one line again click on sketch select this vertical plane press middle mouse button then create one line click on line Take your cursor to the center of this circle, click there, take your cursor above and take it to the center of this ellipse. Then zoom fit and click on finish sketch. Then to convert this into 3D object, click on insert, sweep, then swept. Then select curves, select this ellipse, then click on add new set, select this second object, then again click on add new set, select this circle. Then click on select curve and select this vertical line. Give it some time to create it. Now it has created with straight lines but if we watch this we need a smooth curvature to change it to smooth curvature scroll it down then go to section options 
and from this interpolation click on this linear and select blend so it will connect it with smooth curve then click on ok and if we orbit it it is created properly then to make shell of it with the thickness of 1 mm click on shell then select faces to remove click on this surface face of swept then give the thickness 1 1 is already there orbit it zoom it and select this surface then click on ok here this object is ready if you want to hide the sketches take your cursor on the sketch right click and hide click on hide rightly hide ok now this object is created perfectly then click on new ok then we will create this bottle now in this object at first we will create this square of 40 size and we will extrude it by 60 click on extrude then click on sketch section then select this horizontal plane and click on ok then click on rectangle then take this center option from center give the center point take your cursor away and give the width of 40 enter height of 40 enter and angle of 0 we will keep it as it is enter and escape your square is created of 40 by 40 sides from the center then click on finish sketch then give height of 60 and enter and ok then next is this portion that is this portion now for this portion we will have to use swept command now for swept command we will need this square and one circle of 20 diameter now square is already there we need to create this circle of 20 diameter at a distance of 90 from the bottom or 30 from this top we will create one plane click on datum plane then select add distance option then click on the reference plane we will use this bottom plane so that it will be easy to locate the center point datum plane and give the height of 90 enter and ok then click on sketch select this plane press middle mouse button then click on circle give the center point and give the diameter of 20 enter and escape Now for swept we will need to create some reference line so that we can define the connecting points how the square and circle is connected. To create those reference line we will switch to sketch task environment click here on open in sketch task environment then zoom fit pan it and we will create reference line click on line create line from this end point to this end point then from this end point to this end point then we will trim the extra lines click on quick trim and remove these extra lines so that it will automatically generate the point for our reference then click on close then we want these lines to be reference line take your cursor on the line right click and select convert to reference right click convert to reference and click on finish sketch so it has created these four reference point those will be useful for swept then we will hide this plane 
right click on this plane and click on hide then click on insert sweep swept then select the curve at first we will select the lines of this square then click on add new set and select this circle then for guide click on the select curves and we will define this vertical line as a guide because we want it to connect vertically so here twisting is created to remove this twisting we will have to match these points to match the point scroll here down and in section options from alignment method click here and select by points and connect reference point at correct position now here now we need to match this point at this point now actually we need to match this point with this point so we will shift this this point here and then we will take this point and match it with the end of that line once it shows the end point snap then release the mouse so it will connect it properly then again we need to match this point with this line so we will just shift this point and then we will take this point and match it with end point of this line and release it and next will be to match this point select this point ok this is not that point we will need to match this point press it and drag it and take it at the end and release and zoom fit then we need to match this point with this point press first mouse button drag it and release it at the end of the line now it is properly connected click on ok in swift command unite is not there so we need to unite it manually for that click on unite if you don't unite it then it will give problem while you will make shell therefore it is required that you unite it select first body and select second body and click on ok then next will be to create this extrude the height of this extrude will be 130 minus 90 that is 40 click on extrude then click inside this circle give the height of 40 enter and ok then hide this circle take your cursor on the circle right click and click on hide then next will be to create this radius of 5 these are from this point to this point click on edge blend and select this line this line select all the four corner lines orbit it and select these lines also then click on ok then one more edge blend is required here of radius 15 that is this one again click on edge blend then select this arc and give the radius of 15 enter and click on ok this is created properly now now in this drawing they have not given any other edge blend but these lines are very sharp so we will apply one more edge blend on these lines also click on edge blend select this line and we will give radius of 5 enter ok now if we watch it without edges so it will look 
properly then next will be to create a shell wall thickness has been given as 1 mm click on shell select this surface and one thickness is already there click on ok now if you orbit it and see it it is shelled up to bottom or you can watch it in wireframe static wireframe so here you can see that it has been shelled up to bottom if you forget to unite then it will not shield up to bottom therefore that unite command is very important in the middle that's all this object is also ready thanks for watching we will stop here